Well, great morning, everyone. It is Monday, December 17th. <laughs> oh, you, you, yes, big interruptus, dogus interruptus. Are we doing dogus interruptus here this morning? Yes, okay, give me the kiss. Okay. Everybody's seen you're a good boy. Gave mommy the kiss this morning. Yes. Oh, yes, just loving, just loving this morning. Anyway, I was just on the video. My trigger finger is getting worse and worse. So I was looking up methodologies that don't involve surgery <laughs> or getting a shot in the finger or, you know. <clears throat> and sometimes the surgery does not work. Um, I knew one person that had trigger finger and he had his surgery and now and the guy messed up the surgery and he used to play music now he can't play music at all anymore so I'm like you know that's absolutely not going to take place but this morning I got up and it would not move it was just and it's going into a second finger so um yeah it takes a while in the morning to get it again moving um, but I, very painful. <laughs> it, it's very painful. If you've never experienced it, what happens is the tendon, things get irritated in there and, um, and it doesn't want to move. And your finger, when you wake up, is in a locked position. It's like down here, it's locked. You cannot move it. You cannot move it to save your life. And I have to manually move it and stretch it very slowly and you hear everything in there popping and just it and it hurts like hurts hey <laughs> one guy said he was in like tears it hurts so bad you know um so, no it's very painful and uh if you, this is something that you get if you're doing like like uh, if you're predisposed to it and because I do a lot of typing all day online and I'm doing the flutes that I'm constantly moving my fingers it's you develop trigger finger sometimes um this is the second time I've had it the first time I was lucky it rectified itself what what yes I know it's all about you I know so I did watch a video though today and the guy said he found the way to heal it um, naturally and you take a vitamin B6 in huge doses but you've got to make sure it has magnesium in it and it, it, it's something I guess it helps pro helps to uh, helps you to uh, regulate proteins, your proteins and carbs and stuff in your body. Okay, so uh, and that helps with healing it. With uh, so I'm hoping that works. I did order them. They will be coming tomorrow, and I will start that regimen as well as with my other vitamins. This brand I've been that I did find online. I've been taking, and they they you know, we'll see how well they work. Um, so um, I did find these, they're called berry melts. This is a iron and vitamin C, which you need to take iron and vitamin C together to um, get them to absorb. But I have to take these, I take like a double dose of these at bedtime because you cannot, uh, um, being that they are uh, like a vegetarian base, not from actual meat, uh, coffee will inhibit coffee or milk, or there was some other things that inhibit the absorption of it. So I wait till bedtime and then I take my vitamin, iron fire vitamins. And the rest of them, they have the, um, this brand is good. I just took them. They're, they're the ones that melt, you know. It's like taking a sweet tart is what it tastes like, okay. You take your B12, it's like a sweet tart. 
You have the A-D-E-K. It's like a sweetheart, very easy to take because I am notoriously bad with vitamins and things and I'm supposed to be taking them my whole life. I had, those that don't know, I had, um, what do you call it, bariatric surgery, like, was it 20 years ago, 15 years ago? And the reason I had it done, I was right on the level where, you know, that they would do the surgery. Um, and the reason I had it done was because I had developed diabetes, okay? And the, the and I was on, um, shots, insulin shots, and the metformin, the pills, and the insulin, and all of that, and there's no win with that. You just will continue to gain weight. I tried everything, and nothing would work, um, so I had the surgery, and it did rectify it within a month. No more diabetes, okay, but because of the surgery, now I have to be on vitamins the rest of my life because you have a shorter uh, tract to be able to uh, absorb vitamins and everything. Okay, so now I've got to take vitamins the rest of my life. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but I did find these. These are for bariatric surgery. This is a bariatric multivitamin. So, um... I did start on these, and I'm hoping they work, but they are easy to take. Because, like I said, I tried these other things, the grass-fed things, and they would get stuck in my throat. I can't do it, literally. Um, they would stick in my throat, and I, I just, uh, yeah. Um, so I can't take those. So I did find this brand, and they have been, so far, they, I'm finding that they are easy to take. Get up in the morning, and I take my vitamin. My big one, this one is, you know, you do have one, but it is in a capsule, and I take it with my coffee in the morning, and it's easy to take. And like I said, the iron, I take at night. Before bed, I take double dose of it because I've still, I've got that anemia still and it's going to take quite some time to build up again my strength. So I'm having to take double iron. Um, Max, will you quit, you little monkey? <laughs> He's just really... <laughs> Yes, I know you want attention. You <laughs> dog kiss. You always want attention. You're just too quick. You got me that time, monkey. Anyway, so I'm going to grab the cards here. And uh, get out of Motrin. <laughs> the Motrin helps with some of the inflammation I'm finding, and it, I got to remember to do that because otherwise it just hurts all day. What? <clears throat> so let me grab the cards. Yeah, I went, you know, Eric the flute maker, he's a nice person, but. <clears throat> The one thing he did, which really irritated me when I left, was he asked me about my name, and I told him it's Ganga, and that I've been a, you know, guru teaching a Hindu path. So he gave me that his Eric the flute maker story about how he's this Christian, and if you don't know Christ, you need to come to Christ, and and. I, that's really irritating to me, okay? I don't like people trying to push religious things down somebody's throat, you know, basically telling you, you need to get saved. Well, you know, what's unfortunate is they 
these Christians, so-called well-meaning Christians, and I, I really am happy with the fact he does this outreach, you know, for Guatemalans to get food and shelter and everything for them. That's wonderful. But I don't need him to push his religion on me, okay? I know God, okay? I know God personally. I have seen God's face, you know, and so I have a living reality of God, whereas he has a belief system, okay? So I feel sorry for those that, that have, cling to a belief system and they haven't experienced the reality and they're so narrow-minded, you know? And it's just, it's to me, it's sad. But, uh, okay. Enjoy your belief system, you know. Get your goody points. You know, they think they've got get goody points. They're going to save you. Going to save you. Little does he know I started out in an esoteric Christian order. Okay. I know the Bible backwards and forwards. <clears throat> But yeah, so he thinks he's going to save me. You know, I've gone down that deep, dark Hindu path of, you know, false gods. And <laughs> when he does, he hasn't asked me a thing about it. And if he asks, he'd know that it's not something that you worship, that it's an energy, that each one of the gods represents an, a type of energy, okay? not something to worship okay I don't do pujas I don't do okay. okay so anyway let's see what we've got today in the cards oh my other favorite was this guy of course, they come to your channel and tell you you're going to hell and this and that. And this is of the devil. And, and so you go, well, why are you here? Okay, then why are you here? If you're going to be so condemning of everything, why the heck are you here? Why do you run around? Oh, I see you want to run around to all these channels so you can watch it and then sit there and say that it's it's of the devil and that, that somehow... Is going to, you know, <laughs> then you've got yourself covered just in case, but you really want to see what's going on. <laughs> Stupid people. Okay, I got a new card that I haven't seen before. Okay. Okay. Sorry, it's taking a while to get to the reading here today. Anyway. Each to their own. I never try to drag people down any path, okay? Because you're the one that has to live it. And the mystic's path is not an easy journey. You really have to be dedicated and be re ready to face anything. So it's not for everyone. Okay, so what we have today, let me go through and take a look-see on these. Okay. Okay. Time to look and see where your heartache is, the heartbreak is, what, what's broken, what needs to be repaired, what you need to look at truthfully. Okay. This is like the heart, uh, the, the card in regular decks of the 
part with the swords in it, okay? So anyway, it's indicating in this one something that's broken, you know, some truth you need to see to repair what's broken, okay? So again, I say in order to fix something, you need to see what's broken first, okay? So it doesn't happen to, you don't have, it don't need to be in denial. If you're in denial, it'll never get fixed. If it's always somebody else that's causing the problem, it will never get fixed, okay? You need to remedy it. So look and see what you are gathering, the gatherer. What is it you're collecting? Are you collecting things of benefit? Or are you collecting more trauma and more drama in your life? What is it that you are out there bringing into your world? Okay. Because it's time to look at, uh, to po possibly work on shifting things. You know, like I said, we have free will and we can change things, move them and change them. But in order to do that, we have to take off the mask, medicine mask of authenticity. We need to see what's underneath that mask. Okay. Are you somebody that presents a mask to the world, but yet you know in yourself you're something else? Okay. <laughs> Time to take off the mask. You have to become an authentic person. Okay. And know that here we have a new one today. Bat spirit. Bat spirit. Is that rebirth is assured. You know, we don't come around the horn just once. <laughs> you know, the, the body's like a vehicle. Okay. When it wears out, as all vehicles do... You step out of it, and eventually you get a new vehicle. You come back in to continue your journey. Wherever you left off, that's where you continue, okay? So rebirth is assured. You know, think in terms of the long run, okay? And look and see what's coming to completion. Something is, maybe one cycle is completing, you know, everything is in the cycle. From dust we are to dust we will return. Everything gets recycled. Bodies get recycled. Bodies are made of what? Minerals and, you know, all those things. And it goes back to the dirt. Recycles. Yeah. Yeah. He said, yeah, this time I'm wearing a puppy suit. Yeah. He says, I don't know what I'll be wearing next time, but this time I'm in a puppy suit. And that, says, that just suits me okay. That's okay. I came in with a nice fur coat. Yeah. <laughs> so we all go through the chain of existence. You know, the sacred hoop, the sacred circle. Okay. But again, you know, spend some time to see what needs to be complete, complete, complete can't speak today, blah, blah. completed, <laughs> shine some light on it, the full moon. In the full moon, you can see in the dark a little better, okay? So look what's under there that you haven't wanted to look at. And that's part of the journey when you're doing the mystic's path to get to realization or Buddhahood, whatever you want to call it, to be awakened you have to really see what's under there and how the mind works and how it brings all these things into fruition, how it sustains all of this drama, okay? And once you can see through that, it unlocks it. It's, you know, that it puts an end to it. You're done with that, okay? But it's a very long journey. It takes many rebirths, rebirths many times coming in you know, to, to complete your journey. Okay. So it's, you can always, like I said, always change, always go forward. Oh, somebody was worried yesterday about that, that they don't have the same experience as somebody else. And so they're worried that they're not as spiritually adept. Don't worry about it. You get the experiences you need for where you are in the journey. And not everybody is at the same point of the journey at the same time. 
So you walk your journey. Don't worry about somebody else's or whatever their big brouhaha experiences are. Because a lot of times those big, you know, people that want to claim these big heightened experiences, you know, it's a lot of manufactured hoo-ha. So just, you know, don't worry about it. Anyway, take off the mask. Be an authentic person. You don't need to put on airs and... You know, this is what Trump does. He's so failing that he's got to put himself up as some big mastermind. He's so stupid, he never will read anything. He's so ignorant that he claims that he's the only one that can do things. He's the only one, you know. So it's this false bravado that they put out. Absolutely fake face that they keep trying to convince themselves of, but they're never really convinced. <laughs> so they keep trying, you know anybody like that besides Trump? You know, somebody, it's like these women that, you know, they go to bed with their makeup, they wake up with their makeup, and, and it, it's because they, they have such low self-esteem. You know, you watch the... Uh, what did they call it? Oh, 90 Day Fiance. That one girl, she's from South America. She's so insecure. And she gets so angry. We, I took two hours for my makeup and you didn't even compliment me. How dare you not compliment me? I mean, she's just all over the map. And I'm the queen. And, and, and whoever doesn't, you know, worship the queen's going to die. I mean, she's just... I. Mean, what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> I understand he's like kind of mousy and everything, but really, and, and he thinks that, oh, I've got this beautiful woman and the guys are going to just be so envious of me because I've got this beautiful woman. It's like living with demon spawn in the house, really? <laughs> it's really what you want? She's such a fake person. She doesn't know anything about herself. She is not a genuine person. She's just, it's. But you see that so much on that show with people that are so insecure with everything. So insecure, okay? So, you know, become an authentic person. It's better to be alone than to be with some fake plastic you know, failing individual that's looking for somebody to make them well. Okay, you don't need that in your life. Okay, nobody needs that in their life. Oh, Lord. So, time to shift things. <laughs> Do you need to shift things today? Again, what are you gathering and collecting in your world? Sometimes it's good just to, you know, get rid of some things. Okay, so what is it you need to get rid of? Okay, what are you gathering and collecting? And look to see what's broken. Time to fix it, mend it, get things on the right track, and go forward, okay? <laughs> so thanks for tuning in, hanging with me this morning. Oh, yes, Mr. Max, I see you. I know you want all the attention. Oh, my goodness. So, anyway, if you have some questions, um, topics, please put them in the comment section. I'll let you know how that stuff works for the trigger finger in case anybody is dealing with that. Because um, it just continues to get worse. You know, it, it just really... To the point of really pain. I mean, every day, like I said, it's getting worse to where I, it takes longer and longer to be able to open it and start to get it to function. Um, so I'm really hoping that this guy is right and that these vitamins will work. But it looks like he's got quite a few people that have watched that and started that regime that came back and said it did actually help that they were able to not to cancel they were scheduled for surgery some people okay 
so yeah so I'm gonna give it a shot I'll let you know how it is if it's working if it's not <laughs> and now I'm gonna get offline so I can get my coffee begin my day take the rest of my vitamins take my anti-inflammatory and my vitamins <laughs> yes I know you love I know you're trying to butter me up I see what your game plan trying to butter me up because he wants to G-O in the C-A-R oh now you can spell Uh oh, he's figured out what I was talking about. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm going to leave this here and have to deal with these two. <laughs> but anyway, have a great, have a great Monday. Oh my God. And then I've got to go on the hunt. I made all these necklaces and somebody saw uh sachi one of my students wearing this necklace i had made and she wants one now and now i've got to find where did i put all these things i i saw them one day i that i don't i gotta go on the hunt to see if i can find them because i had somebody actually contact me and say can i buy one of those necklaces <laughs> So now I've got to be on the hunt and see if I can find them today. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to leave this here. Oh, God, I'm almost 30 minutes on this thing. Ah, I'll see you online. I hope.